we are here on the quad in dry weather. Good morning. You made it. You made it whether you sailed or struggled, you made it today. Please stand or remain standing and join Zach Conley, Rebecca Joseph, Jacqueline Lavin, and Matt McGuire of the class of 2018 in singing our national anthem. remain standing as Father Tony Zakeli, CSC, Director of Campus Ministry, offers the invocation. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, known by many names, heard in many voices, we ask your presence with us on this joyous occasion. Today we celebrate the accomplishments of those who receive diplomas and begin new chapters in their lives. We ask your blessings upon them. Make each one mindful, we pray, of what they have accomplished here at Stonehill College and send them forth from here to do great things in the world. Bless as well those who have supported them in their work, in the classroom, at home, and on the way. Teachers who have given of themselves in ways that will only be understood with the passage of time. Families who have sacrificed much. Friends who learned from them and taught them as only peers can. And on this day, we commend to your eternal love, dear Lindsay Malia of the class of 2018, who died so tragically a year ago, and ask your consolation for her family, friends, and classmate. Make us ever mindful of those whose shoulders we stand, and as well as those who follow in our path. Even as we celebrate the accomplishments and transitions of this class, may we ever continue to seek wisdom and make your love known in the world. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father Tony. Please be seated. Okay, deep breaths, class. We're here to celebrate honored guests parents and grandparents of the graduates, families and friends. We, the Stonehill community, President John Denning, trustees, members of the faculty and administration, and here we are, the class of 2018. <laughs> Welcome to the 67th commencement of Stonehill College. Seniors, you look amazing. So before we do anything else, we're on a tight schedule today because we have a little window with the weather. So my main job today is to keep us on track. Um, but 
pictures are important, right? So, at this time, Father Denning, as president of the college, will confer the honorary degrees. Reading the citations for those degrees will be Professor Nancy Hammerly, Professor Amra Brooks, and Dean Peter Ubertasio. Dr. John, Dr. John F. Stack, Jr., Stonehill College, class of 1972. Okay. Teacher and scholar, leader and innovator, you have devoted your career to the highest principles of education, service, and global engagement. As founding dean of the Stephen J. Green School of International and Public Affairs, at Florida International University, you inspire and educate those who are eager to serve as leaders and change makers in our globalized world. As a professor of politics and international relations and a professor of law, your career has been one of devotion to challenging and mentoring your students. You are also a skilled administrator who oversees eight academic departments and more than 20 of the university's most prominent international centers, institutes, and programs. Among these is FIU's Model United Nations, ranked second in North America, which holds a special place in your personal history. During your junior year at Stonehill, you went to New York City to participate in the National Model UN program, where you acquired skills in the art of diplomacy and compromise, which have proved invaluable in your career. You have kept close ties with your hometown of Brockton and with Stonehill, from which your sisters Pamela and Nancy also graduated. You credit Stonehill with preparing you for life and career, and you return to campus often for presentations and events, and to serve on the advisory board of the Martin Institute. For your commitment as an educator, dedicated to creating a global community that thrives through understanding, connection, and kinship, we are proud to bestow upon you Dr. John F. Stack, Jr., Honoris Causa, the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. Claudia Rankin, poet, essayist, playwright, and educator. You make visible the unacknowledged reality of accepted conditions and constructions. As the Frederick Eisman Professor of Poetry at Yale University, you focus on the many ways we are influenced by people's understanding and misunderstanding of race, power, and privilege. And you seek to shine light onto truths that we all too often struggle to grasp and articulate. You are the recipient of many outstanding awards and accolades, including a Guggenheim Fellowship in 2017. When you were awarded the prestigious MacArthur Fellowship Genius Grant in 2016, the foundation hailed you for illuminating the emotional and psychic tensions that mark the experiences of many living in 21st century America. Currently, currently, you are using the fellowship to help establish the Racial Imaginary Institute in Manhattan, a cultural laboratory in which the racial imaginaries of our time and place are engaged, read, countered, contextualized, and demystified. You have tackled these difficult issues in five acclaimed collections of poetry. Of those collections, your book-length poem about race and the imagination, Citizen and American Lyric, holds the distinction of being the only poetry book to become a New York Times bestseller in the nonfiction category. In addition to popular acclaim, Citizen and American Lyric won both the Penn Open Book Award and the Penn Literary Award, as well as the NAACP Award and the National Book Critics Circle Award for Poetry. 
Because your words are unflinching as they seek to challenge, to express, to disrupt, and to acknowledge constructions of race and identity, we are proud to bestow upon you, Claudia Rankin, honoris causa, the degree of Doctor of Literature. David Simas, CEO of the Obama Foundation, you are committed to inspiring and empowering the next generation of civic leaders to create positive change in their communities and around the world. This does not surprise the Stonehill community, who knew you, a first generation Portuguese American and son of immigrants, as a highly engaged student during your time here. And in becoming an attorney, you embrace the college's mission of moral and intellectual devotion to social justice, while never losing sight of your roots or the privilege of a high quality education. Those values have guided your career, from your appointment as Deputy Chief of Staff to Massachusetts Governor Deval Patrick, to joining the Obama administration, first as Deputy Assistant to the President, then as Director of Opinion Research and Director of the Office of Political Strategy and Outreach. As you endeavor today to lead the Obama Foundation with the goal of ensuring every innovator, young leader, and everyday citizen has access to the tools they need to make an impact, you continue to put the collective pursuit of social justice at the center of your life and career. While situated at the highest levels of government and philanthropy, you have maintained close ties with your college community, meeting with Stonehill students whenever they visited Capitol Hill on class or internship projects, returning to campus for speaking engagements focused on leadership and public policy issues, and meeting with prospective students and their families at Skyhawk Welcome Days. With deep respect for your leadership by example and your commitment to public service, we are proud to bestow upon you, David Seamus, honoris causa, the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. I am now pleased to present the 2018 commencement speaker, Dr. David Seamus. I cannot tell you how um, just deeply humbled I am by that and how kind of funny it is to be introduced as doctor anything. <laughs> I remember 26 years ago when I was, the last time on the quad was here for graduation. And when I look over to my right, just like I did on that day, I see my mother, and I see my father, and I see my sister. And I want everybody here, before you leave this quad, and even as you're deeply immersed in the individual achievement that you have, to make sure that you find your parents, your teachers, your loved ones, to make sure that you remember that, because I can assure you, you won't remember anything that I say. <laughs> but please sear that into your memory. I want to talk to you today about three things very quickly, given uh, the precarious nature of the, of the clouds. And these are three rules that I have tried to guide me, and I have to be very honest with all of you, is that I fail these on a daily basis. There isn't a day goes by that even though you try to aspire to something, that you don't fail them. The first lesson for me is to remember that whatever you achieve, you do not do this alone. One of the first memories that I have as a young boy was when my father came to me at my babysitter's house 
and he said that my very young mother had been in a terrible accident at work. From there, we went to the hospital, and my immigrant mother and my immigrant father, my mom had been working in a silver factory. And in the silver factory, making forks and spoons and knives, the machine had malfunctioned. And all of a sudden, in a blink of an eye, a young, vibrant, healthy, ambitious young woman had lost fingers on her hand. The courage of an immigrant, the courage of anyone who does something new, to leave everything behind, language, culture, norms, because of that unbelievable hope that something will be better in that moment. And I was too small to appreciate it, but in that moment, it could have all come apart. That memory of my dad saying that to me and then seeing my mother was the only thing that I could think about 30 plus years later when David Seamus from 29 Purchase Street, Taunton, Massachusetts, Stonehill class of 1992, was shaking in fear, walking into the west wing of the White House. I sat in that welcoming room, and all I could think about was that moment. All I could think about was a baseball coach. All I could think about was a teacher, a professor here at Stonehill named Charlie Cerns. All I could think about was all of the people who in those moments where my life could have taken a different path lifted me up. It was that realization that stuck with me every single day as I walked into that amazing building. Whether you serve a Democrat or a Republican, you are an American at that moment. Walking in there, I repeated the same thing to myself on the way in the door and on the way out at night. Remember who you are and who you represent. You are not here because of any transcendent brilliance that you have. You're not here because you work harder than other people. You are here because your community has lifted you up. You didn't do it alone. Remember that. Today is an extraordinary day for you. But live deeply in that understanding that you are interdependent you have been given a gift. The motto for Stonehill of light and hope, education has given you some light to allow you to see. But don't take that ability to see as some indication that yours is the only path. Which leads me to my second lesson that I try to remember and live with deeply. One thing that I will never forget about those eight years in Washington was, and you've all seen this on cable television, people yelling at each other, but never listening to one another. People talking at one another, but always waiting in those pauses to rebut and never to hear and to understand. People so firmly committed that theirs was the only repository of truth, the only way to do anything to the exclusion of others, has put us in this moment, this deep moment, where even though we are more connected than ever to one another, we lack connection. Connection where you actually see the person and hear the person to understand them rather than to rebut. A couple of months ago, I was in a room on the south side of Chicago with 20 young people who are leaders in their community. All over the world came to Chicago. And they were engaging in this exercise where essentially two people sit knee to knee across from each other, eye to eye. And I watched people exchanging their personal story. And then the most amazing thing is I then have to stand up and give the story that I just heard as if I were that person. Here is what I heard. I heard a young African-American man from one of the most difficult neighborhoods in the south side of Chicago stand up, and for that two minutes, he was a young woman from Aleppo, Syria. 
a young woman who spent two years in a refugee camp, a young woman who will never see her community, who lost most of her family. And as he was crying, he was ended by saying, I am going to devote the rest of my life to make sure this doesn't happen again. He was her. He saw her. I saw another young woman stand up and tell a story about how when she came out as a lesbian woman to her grandfather, that he turned away from her. She hugged him deeply and said, no matter how you turn away, I will always love you deeply. That young man was that young woman. And while none of us will ever be able to engage in that kind of deep empathy in exchange on a daily basis, please make sure that when you hear that inner voice saying that someone is automatically wrong, check yourself. Put yourself in their shoes. Understand their perspective. See where they're coming from. And the final thing that I want to leave you with begins with a story. I had the unbelievable honor to fly with the president, President Obama, to the 50th anniversary celebration of the signing of the Civil Rights Act in Austin, Texas. And when we got to the Lyndon Johnson Library in Austin, you walk into the rotunda, there are these amazing words on the wall, Medicare and Medicaid, voting rights, civil rights, and then I saw the word immigration. And when I saw the word immigration, right there I started to cry. The president looked at me and he's like, really? Come on, man. <laughs> the reason I did was because it was the Immigration Act of 1965 that allowed me, this Stonehill grad and a kid from Taunton, to be standing there as an assistant to the president of the United States of America. I then walked down the hall into a green room and there was a gospel singer, this amazing woman named Mavis Staples, was watching a video of herself from 50 years before singing at a freedom rally. And standing behind her in that room was a hero of mine, Congressman John Lewis, who was saying in that amazing voice of his, what a wondrous thing it is that I'm about to introduce Barack Obama on this day. An hour later in that same green room, there were 10 people who had written letters to the president. And as soon as he walked in the door, this one woman from Austin saw him burst into tears and said, Mr. President, my little boy is alive today because of you. She kept on repeating that. She then turned to me, and obviously her tears had obscured her vision because she said, young man, it's not that funny. <laughs> Maybe a little. I said, young man, do you work for the president? I stood up as straight as I could, and I said, yes, ma'am, I do. She said, please know that my little boy is alive today because of you. On the flight back to Washington, as I was reflecting on that hour and a half in my life, here's what I want you to remember. It wasn't a president or a Congress that were the driving force behind that immigration act that allowed my parents to move to this country. It was people in communities throughout the country that said things need to change and be better. Change is never top down. Change is always bottom up. It wasn't because of a Congress or a president that the Civil Rights Act was signed. It was because a 22-year-old named John Lewis and thousands of people like him stood on a bridge in Selma, Alabama, knowing that they were going to be beaten and thrown in jail. Why? Because of an idea. Change begins from the bottom up. And finally, it wasn't because of me, and it certainly wasn't because of Barack Obama that this woman's son was alive. It was because people throughout the country said things need to be better. And so the takeaway for me here is that these are acts of citizenship and acts of hope, something that is in short supply. But the thing that you have now as graduates is as you engage in your communities, Understand that you have a responsibility of active citizenship. And I don't mean the piece of paper. 
I don't mean the degree, and I don't mean the paper that says you are a citizen. I mean that when you are in a community, don't just focus on what your rights are. Your rights are important, but as important are your responsibilities. And I don't just mean voting or registering to vote. That is a bare minimum. Your responsibility as graduates, as Stonehill graduates, light and hope, is no matter where you live and engage, if there is an elderly person down the street and you haven't seen the person for a week, knock on the door to make sure she's okay. That's community. When you see a young boy who lives in your community who is struggling, go to the school and read. That's community. That's leadership. Put aside the left versus right, Democrat versus Republican, constant Twitter fed shouting match that parts people into us versus them, me against you, religion, race, gender. You have been given an amazing gift. You have a responsibility to engage. Because at the end of the day, I, someone who graduated from this place, and cannot believe that I had the great honor to sit across in the Oval Office from the President of the United States. I will never forget that the greatest and most powerful office in this country is the Office of Citizen. As of today, you have been given light. It's time for you to fulfill the second part of the motto, which is hope. And hope is that belief that our destiny is not written for us, it is written by us. You are the change that you desire. Go out and do it. Congratulations, class of 2018. David. Now it's my pleasure to introduce <clears throat> Emily Chario, member of the senior class who will speak for the graduating class. <clears throat> President Denning, distinguished faculty, staff, family, friends, pets, <laughs> and the class of 2018, good morning and welcome. Four years, four move-in days, 120 credits, eight finals weeks, and roughly $220,000 later, <laughs> all for what? Over the last few weeks, I've spent a lot of time thinking about why I came to Stonehill, but more importantly, why I stayed. And now it seems a bit silly for me to ask such a question as I'll be happily collecting my diploma in a matter of minutes. However, in those few moments that separate us from being Stonehill students and Stonehill alumni, what better time to question our decisions and ask ourselves why we even came here in the first place? For me, I distinctly remember my mom sifting through a sea of college pamphlets and stumbling upon Stonehill's iconic purple envelope. After religiously reading Stonehill's website, and watching countless videos of students share their Stonehill stories, my mom was convinced that Stonehill was the perfect place for me. I, on the other hand, was not. Quite frankly, I really didn't know anything about Stonehill. Solely focused on the name and prestige of a school, my fiercely stubborn 17-year-old self could not imagine myself at a small, Catholic, liberal arts campus in the middle of Easton, Massachusetts. My heart was set on wearing a college sweatshirt that people would recognize the name of and be impressed by. However, despite my resistance, I begrudgingly applied, was accepted, and on April 5, 2014, I made the drive from Auburn, Maine to Stonehill for my first accepted student's day. Now, if I've learned anything from that day, it's that your ego is always wrong 
and your mom is generally always right. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> Within a matter of hours, I found myself warming up to the purple sidewalks, the high-fiving mascot, and Father Denning's Rhode Island accent preaching that Stonehill's got a lot of hot. <laughs> However, it wasn't until I spoke <laughs> However, it wasn't until I spoke with Professor John Lancey at an honors program luncheon where things started to click for me. The reality is, he said, is that you can get a degree in English, biology, or business from any college. However, the difference is that Stonehill doesn't just produce good students, they produce good people. This comment has stuck with me for the past four years, and it wasn't until recently that I was finally able to articulate what Professor Lancey's comment truly meant. As a first year student, I thought, perhaps it's our politeness, as Stonehill students are notorious for holding doors for freakishly long amounts of time, or maybe it's because everyone happily waves at each other on their way to class. And while these two things are obviously true, as a senior, I found that they are merely small parts of the whole that define what it truly means to be a Stonehill student. When I think of what makes a Stonehill student, I think of having the courage to question, to challenge, and to stand up for what you think is right. Being a Stonehill student means holding each other up in the face of grief and tragedy, and celebrating as one in moments of joy and gratitude. Being a Stonehill student means spending your spring break on a hope trip or your Wednesday afternoon at my brother's keeper. It means running out of meal plan money, but always having a friend or a stranger to pick up your tab. It means proudly answering your friends and family when they ask, oh, you go to Stonehill, what is that? As a tour guide, I would always tell people that Stonehill has taken me to 10 countries, two continents, and 30 cities, quite literally giving me the world. But perhaps more importantly, Stonehill has connected me with a supportive community that is always there to celebrate in my success and pick me up when I stumble. With these reflections in mind, let us not forget to thank the people in this community who were crucial in shaping who we are at this particular moment in time. First and foremost, thank you to our professors for challenging us to think deeply and critically and instilling within us an insatiable curiosity about the world. Thank you to all of the administrators and employees of the college for creating a positive and welcoming community. Thank you to our parents, siblings, guardians, friends, and other family members who have provided unconditional love and support throughout these four years. And lastly, to the class of 2018, thank you for always making me proud to wear my Stonehill sweatshirt. As we stand on the precipice of the real world, entering our first jobs, graduate school, a year of service, or if we're still trying to figure out our next steps, Always remember that you are smart, driven, hardworking students. But most importantly, you are and always will be a member of a kind, compassionate, and loving community. As Professor Lancey said, you are good people, and you are exactly what this world needs. We did it, class of 2018, but we're certainly not done yet. Thank you. was fantastic, Emily. Thank you so much. At this moment, <clears throat> Dr. Joseph Favaza, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, and my neighbor, <laughs> will present the candidates for baccalaureate degrees. President Denning will confer the degrees. Will the candidates for degrees please rise?
President Denny, the faculty of Stonehill College have the honor to present to you the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. In the judgment of the faculty, each of the students being presented has successfully completed all requirements for the baccalaureate degree. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Stonehill College and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I hereby confer upon each of you the baccalaureate degree with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Before the class takes a seat, I'm going to ask each of you to turn to the classmate next to you, face one another, check your hoods, make sure you're going to look good in the pictures. <laughs> Maybe say congratulations. And then we'll ask the front row to remain standing while the rest of the class takes a seat. And I have one um, announcement. So at this point, the management customarily asks the MC to say, for the reading of degrees, we ask that you reserve applause until all diplomas have been awarded. Also, in order not to delay the movement of graduates, we request that you not come forward for photographs. Now, we all know that's not going to happen. <laughs> so here's what we would ask. Um, every student here deserves a moment in the sun, a moment of recognition, a good photograph, and we never know when the rain's going to come. So try to keep a limit, OK, on the applause and on the photographs. Oh, maybe I should stick to the script. Reading the degrees will be Professors Allison Sheckler, Peter Mahoney, Karen Teo, Bob Dugan, Michael Soleil, and Hilary Getman. The Philip L. Hemingway Senior Awards to the highest ranking graduate in Bachelor of Arts, Jenna Lynn Christensen, summa cum laude, Moreau Honors Scholar. To the highest ranking graduate in Bachelor of Science, Cassandra Carol Daisy, summa cum laude, Moreau Honors Scholar. <laughs> to the highest ranking graduate in Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Ryan Craig Peck, summa cum laude. Senior class officers, Tyler Anthony Normile, cum laude. <laughs> Ashley Marie Hitchcock. <laughs> Moreau Honors Scholars, Lauren Patricia Almonte, magna cum laude. Catello Ernest Batnelli III, summa cum laude. Amanda Blake Beauregard, magna cum laude. Thomas Anthony Bellio, magna cum laude. Erica Pauline Bigelow, magna cum laude. 
Molly Catherine Birmingham, magna cum laude. Helene An Marie Angel Brahaney, magna cum laude. Charles Daniel Kalinda, summa cum laude. Joanna Lucia Carlino, cum laude. Elise Marie Cavanaugh, summa cum laude. Kyle John Collins, summa cum laude. Gregory Costello, summa cum laude. Alana Nicole Cotto, cum laude. Timothy Joseph Cronin, cum laude. Kate Elizabeth Diversa, magna cum laude. Celine M. DeSantis, magna cum laude. Jason Philip Dimmick, cum laude. Parker Grant Dunn, magna cum laude. Kristen Rose Fontaine, magna cum laude. Anne Marie Furbish, summa cum laude. Mark Christian Hamalian, summa cum laude. Lauren Elizabeth Joseph, cum laude. Mark Khalil, cum laude. Daria Labutina, magna cum laude. Nicole Elise Levesque, summa cum laude. Megan Francis Macheski, summa cum laude. Anthony Martucci, cum laude. Mackenzie Allison Mays, cum laude. Madison Olivia McGlone, Magna cum laude. Colleen O'Donnell, Magna cum laude. Olivia Signe Peterson, Magna cum laude. Amanda Christina Phillips, Summa cum laude. Abby Lynn Salvas, Magna cum laude. Nicholas Peter San Giovanni, Summa cum laude. Emily Catherine Sherio, Summa cum laude. Andrew Richard Steck, cum laude. Daniel Christian Stofa, Summa cum laude. Rebecca Marie Swiss, cum laude. Kimberly Marie Theobald, cum laude. Emily Madison Van Auken, magna cum laude. Danielle Megan Walsh, magna cum laude. Matthew Dennis Young, magna cum laude. We would like to pause at this moment to award a Bachelor of Arts degree posthumously to Lindsay Malia. Receiving the degree is Lindsay's aunt, Susan C. Thaler, and uncle, Ed Pulowski. for the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Ariel Katarina Abramic. Presley Young Akare. Stephanie Patricia Aguayo. Joy Victoria Albiani, cum laude. 
Emily Marie Allen in absentia. Alyssa Marie Andrews, magna cum laude. Kojo Ansel. Ashley Elizabeth Arapov. Ashley Lynn Arnoldi. Julia Christy Marie Balerna, magna cum laude. Taylor Marie Barboza. Christopher Aaron Bardwell. Andrea Pedis Barros. Cisaltina Teixeira Barros. Malachi Antonio Ba. O'Shea Kalik Bell. Patrick Joseph Benson. Tomas Paul Bernotas. Justine Rose Billings Magnuson. Amanda Catherine Blair, magna cum laude. Hedvig Alexia Blanco. Margaret Adams Borman. Nicholas Anthony Bana. Haley Marie Borino. Aaron Marie Braden. Cum laude, sorry. Dylan John Brown. Christopher Dean Buck. David N. Bujambe. Vanessa Jean Busberg, cum laude. Amanda Rose Byrne, magna cum laude. Michael Charles Kaliri. Nia Brittany Campbell. Christina Lee Karajanis. Kristen Mary Karamanika. Samantha Catherine Carey, cum laude. Leah Adriana Carilia. Sarah E. Casey. Jocelyn Elizabeth Chase. Elaine Chen. Len Chen. <laughs> Waverly Ann Sifolilo. Aaron Rose Clancy, magna cum laude. Marissa Camille Clawher. Chase Pettit Colasurdo. Aaron Kelleher Colford. Christina Maria Colon. Christopher Zachary Connolly Jr. Jillian Elizabeth Cortizi. Jean Ann Elizabeth Cosgrove. Alicia Maria Catoni. Dorothy Ann Crevier. Audra Elizabeth Kroll. Andrew Francis Davis. Nikia Davis. 
Chirusha Vishedi Demel. Alexander Paul de Guise, magna cum laude. Catherine Marie Delanti. Christiani Valeria de Pina. Nick K. Desaline. Alexandra Rose Dillon. Jennifer Francis de Percio, magna cum laude. Brianna Marie Doherty. Jack Aiden Donahoe. Danielle Nicole Donovan. Melissa Lee Duffy, magna cum laude. Jordan Marie Duncan. Zachary Aaron Duncan. Alexis Marie Early, magna cum laude. Laura Ann Ebrico, magna cum laude. Mary Teresa Evans. Angela Maria Farias, magna cum laude. Galen Isabel Farrell, cum laude. Sage Renee Feltis, cum laude. Lane Madison Fitzpatrick in absentia. Brian Salvador Flores Jr. Emma Brianne Fobin in absentia. Matthew Robert Foltz, magna cum laude. Samantha Jane Foote. Robert Francois. Alexandra Alyssa Frangiosa, cum laude. Kayla Marie Frazier. Kelsey Elizabeth Friedman. Shannon Regina Froisa. Julia Elizabeth Galderisi, cum laude. Jeremy W. Gallant. Erin Lacey Garvin. Kaylee Erin Gilliland, cum laude. Andrew Lawrence Gillis. Austin Lewis Goldstein. Lindsay Rose Gomes. John Leonard Gonzalo, cum laude. Nia Giovanni Gondre. Janice Gonzalez. Yamilex Gonzalez Baez. Caroline Maureen Grady, magna cum laude. Kristen Marie Grip. Francesca Guacharo, cum laude. Jessica Lynn Gustafson, cum laude. Janet Marion Haas, cum laude. Danny Francis Haffel. Summa cum laude. Cameron Lee Haney. Geneva Esther Hancock. Sarah Ann Hanley, cum laude. Stacy Patricia Hansen, magna cum laude. David Emmett Harrison. Bradford Douglas Hausler, cum laude. Lauren Deborah Hennessy, cum laude. Kelly Kinane Henry. Bailey Paxson Hare. Abby Megan Hersom, summa cum laude. Ian Richard Hill, cum laude. Patrick Lawrence Hurley. Samantha Marie. Highslip. Thomas Joseph Ionello, cum laude. 
Benedict Joseph Ingenieri III, cum laude. Malcolm Leonard Jacob, cum laude. Stephen Brandon Jenner. Jamilan Eric Jones, in absentia. Olivia Margaret Joseph, cum laude. Rebecca Shirley Joseph. Margaret Patricia Kelly. Colleen Rose Kenny. Bailey Victoria Kimbar Magna Cum Laude. Jacqueline Marie Cusis. Catherine Rose Kirby. Daniel John Laverne. Jacqueline Marie Lavin. Ritten Lang Lawai. Courtney Ann LeBlanc. Kenneth J. Lee. Catherine Elaine LePage. Andrew Paul. Oh, sorry. Andrew Paul Clear. John James Little. <laughs> Hannah Victoria Luati. <laughs> Jacob Kevin Lyons. <laughs> Matthew Philip Macy. <laughs> Stacy Ann Madelmeyer. Samantha Christina Maiolo. Orlando Luigi Manfredi II. Marissa Elaine Manson. Liam Patrick Mansfield. Elizabeth Joanne Martin. Faith Ann Martin, magna cum laude. <laughs> Kelly Alice Martin. <laughs> Eric Robert Maynard. <laughs> Rebecca Louise McBride. <laughs> Connor William McCourt. Connor Thomas McDonough, cum laude. Amy Louise McKeever. Kelly Elizabeth McLaughlin. Jorge Luis Melendez V, magna cum laude. Shannon Michaela Miles, magna cum laude. Samantha Lee Miller, magna cum laude. Damien James Montague. Jose Luis Montalvo. Natisha Monique Moore. Matthew Allen Moschella, cum laude. Divine Mugisha Mugunga. Ryan Michael Murphy. Allison Rose Murray. Casey Marie Nally in absentia. Mary Kay Elizabeth Nasby. Anfe Elender Neal, magna cum laude. Kristen Marie Nevins, cum laude. Isaiah Nathaniel Nunez. 
Jacqueline, Jacqueline Elizabeth Oberg in absentia. Catherine Rose O'Connell. Michael James O'Dwyer. Connor John O'Malley. Giuseppe Palladino Jr., cum laude. Melissa Christina Parker, magna cum laude. Emily Rita Patarelli. Alana Allison Paul. Jarellis Peguero, cum laude. Samantha Maria Pereira. Dylan James Joseph Perry, in absentia. Nicholas Francis Pickett. Jacqueline de Macedo Pires. Lindsay Elizabeth Planchon, cum laude. Emily Elizabeth Polver. Kerry Michael Pratt, magna cum laude. Mateusz Puzanowski. Michael Clark Rafferty. Liam Rendell. Elizabeth Helene Rive. Catherine Audrey Reynolds, cum laude. Matthew Paul Rich. Ryan Joseph Roach. Kathleen Francis Roberts. John Walter Edward Rockwood Jr. Connor Patrick Rogers. Caitlin Emily Ross. Catherine Melina Ross. Olivia Anna Roy, summa cum laude. Rose Kelly Roy. Michael Nicholas Roselski, cum laude. Neve Mary Ryan, magna cum laude. Rochelle Ryan. Amanda Lee Severizi, cum laude. David Christopher Sawyer. <laughs> Dorothy Ann Sawyer. <laughs> Michael Anthony Scavato. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Sinertia, cum laude. <laughs> Taylor Helen Shanahan. <laughs> Maggie Louise Shaleen. <laughs> Erica Victoria Shepherd. Sarah Jean Shevlin. Faith Erin Simon, magna cum laude. Michael R. Skinner. Chandler R. Skolnick, cum laude. Jacob Warren Smith. Lauren Marie Smith. Molly Lynn Salitro, cum laude. Alex York Soutier. Julia Lynn Spugnardi, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Rose Stashak, magna cum laude. Casey Stengel. Sydney Catherine Stepik, cum laude. Victoria Lynn Stevenson, magna cum laude. Vanessa Stevens. Bailey Douglas Stone, cum laude. Liam Patrick Chagru. Jordan Brian Joseph Sullivan. Kelly A. Sullivan. Megan McDevitt Tate. 
Adeline Tavares. Rebecca Collins Taylor. Ashley Anna Tassino. Jacqueline Susan Terrian. Megan Elizabeth Thompson. Israel Bryce Thorpe. Catherine Alice Cherney Cum Laude. Allison Cage Tobin. Richard Christopher Troutwine. Julia Catherine Turgeon. David R. Wagner. Christina Ann Valeri. Thomas Michael Van. Nevin Arvin Vidyarti. Stacy Bridget Villeda. Courtney Walsh. Catherine Ann Walsh. Maggie Wambui. Hope Z. Weaver, magna cum laude. Abigail May Westerland, magna cum laude. Caitlin Barbara Woodman, cum laude. Jermel A. Wright. Aaron Yamani. For the degree of Bachelor of Science, Abigail Marie Almonte. Armin Casper Andonian. Emily Michelle Arison. Sesson Aaron. Stefan Santo Balestra. Alyssa Rose Beatty. Joseph Daniel Bertherman. Azariah Aquilania Pearl Boyd. Samuel Robert Bradford, cum laude. Alexandra Calafiore. Adam Christopher Casey. Rachel Celine Chandler. Royce Henry Conlin. Sophia Natalie Convertini. Karina Elise Kraft. Casey Elizabeth Crow in absentia. Daniel Michael De Benedictus. Carolyn Lee Decker. Emily Jean DePauli. Allison Ruth Diaz, magna cum laude in absentia. Christopher Ryan Driscoll. Sarah Helen Finnegan. Caitlin Marie Foley. Alexandra Aline Giroux. Hannah Elizabeth Gifford, cum laude. Ryan Robert Grant. William T. Grealish III. Taylor Summers Grillo. Alexa Grace Guerrera, cum laude. Laura Ann Harvey. Kelly E. Healy. Caitlin, uh, cum laude. Caitlin Ann Hess. Constance Grace Hodge, summa cum laude. Brianne Noel. Horton, Joshua Lee Hubble, Anthony Mark Inamorati, John Paul Irving, cum laude, Megan Nicole Jordan, Emily Ann Kingston, Emily Grace Knox, Katie Lynn Konechny, magna cum laude. Nikolai Lysichenok, 
magna cum laude. Megan, Jean, Lucy. Kevin, Patrick, Looning, in absentia. Stephen, James, McSwain. Zoe, Rose, Magri. Matthew, Brooks, McGuire. Gloria, M. Mahame. Claire, Elizabeth, Manuzak. Jennifer, Lee, Mayette, Cum Laude. Christina, Marie, McAvoy, Cum Laude. Rachel, Kristen, McCabe, Cum Laude. Elena, Rose, McDowell, Magna, Cum Laude. Elizabeth, oh, sorry, Mary, Elizabeth, McGowan. William, Michael, Melahuris, Magna, Cum Laude. Eileen, Margaret, Mello. Michael, Para, Middleton. Victoria, Kim, Mokel, Cum Laude. Meredith, Noel, Moore. Anthony, Michael, Moriando. Jonathan, Clement, Naval. Dylan, Fox, Newman, Magna Cum Laude. Megan, Bridget O'Connor. Rachel, A. O'Donnell. Catherine, Elizabeth O'Malley. Mohini, Pravin Patel. Anna Rose, Dorothy Pearson. Matthew, J. Peters. Alexander, John Pika. Kelly, Ann Powers, magna cum laude. Alessandro, Thomas Puccio. Julie, Ann Schultz, cum laude. Janelle, Taylor, Shea, cum laude. Mariah, Lee Smith. Walker, Allen Smith. Andrew, Ryan Stofko. Daniel, Frederick Stone. Carrie, Ann Sullivan. Alexandria, Marie, Sylvia. Kenneth, Louis, Vinaco. Olivia, Joy, Wallace. Rachel, Viola, Wallace, Cum Laude. Dakota, Lance, Weatherby. Alyssa, Karen, Woosley. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Patrick Robert Ahern. Matthew Roland Alexander. Miranda Marie Arena, magna cum laude. Dylan Joseph Aruda, magna cum laude. John Austin Astone. Victoria Barbetta, cum laude. Brian Barry. Michaela Ann Bellaria. Isaiah Zachary Bess. Andrew Kevin Biederman. Colby Victoria Blaisdell. David Deeks Blasky III. Michaela Ann Botino. Adam Robert Branco, magna cum laude. Tyson James Bridge. Christopher Frederick Briggs. Nicholas Brendan Bruni, magna cum laude. Seamus Murray Bruno, in abstentia. Thomas Harry Buckley, cum laude. Mary Francis Bonanno, magna cum laude. Dominic Joseph Calapa Jr. Lynn Patricia Canty. 
Carolina Mercedes Capote. William Alexander Karras. Timothy Corbett Carboneau. Brandon Michael Karen, cum laude. Leah Marie Carter, cum laude. Leonardo Casillas Fernandez. Matthew K. Castillo. C. Yan Chen, magna cum laude. Sean Patrick Connolly. Joseph Michael Conti, cum laude. Kimberly Ann Cordero, magna cum laude. Justin Francis Daly, magna cum laude. Jeffrey Michael Dioria. Victoria Lauren DeBrace. Kevin Edward Dick. Samantha Paige Downing, cum laude. Slow down. Jake. Ian Earhart, magna cum laude. Sean Brian Fay. Megan Barbara Philbin. Max Robert Flato. Adam Frederick Foley. Jeffrey Edward Gagnon. Matthew John Gallo. Stephen Ralph Ganley. Tyler Victor Guerrero Jeffrey. Victoria Diane Giambanco. Sarah Marie Glasheen. Paul A. Graves. Anthony John Graziano, cum laude. Michael Charles Griffin. Elizabeth Karen Grip, cum laude. Christine Haddad. Erica Lee Hansen, magna cum laude. Chinthu Haridasi. Stephen Matthew Hathaway. Courtney Angelina Hayden. Jenna Noel Hebert. Mary Kate Maloney Henderson. Sandy Wen Wen Huang. Julianne Francis Holbrook. Julia Elizabeth Holland. Kevin Joseph Horn. Carolyn Teresa Hoy, cum laude. Michelle Kristen Hudak, cum laude. Andrew D. Humphrey. Alexander Pratt Hurley. Alexander James Joyce. James Cornelius Kane. Emily Catherine Kelly. Cameron Holden Kern. Joseph Sullivan Klingensmith. Jason Theodore Lambro. Chloe Park Leishman. Kyle Richard Lentini, cum laude. Jonathan Latorno. Megan Elizabeth Letvinchuk, cum laude. Haley Elizabeth Libby. Caitlin Ann Long, magna cum laude. Juan Jose Lopez, cum laude. Patrick James Lucky. 
Allison Jeanette Luther. Casey Zinn McDonald. Gabriella Marie Majacomo. Ryan Alexander Mahoney. Kayla Marie Mayato, cum laude. Zachary Maine, cum laude. Caitlin Sarah Maloney. Musa Mansare. Nathan Joseph Merculier, summa cum laude. Reed D. Marshall, in absentia. Andreas Mavridis. Samantha Kathleen McCarthy. Zachary James McCormick. Peter, Peter John McCoy. Dylan Rice McGee. Lindsay Paula Mello, cum laude. David J. Mitchell. John, John Scott Monahan, magna cum laude. Nicholas Mungin. William Henry Moore, Jr. Mark E. Moreno. Ruth Mugaju. James Joseph Murphy. Kishori Bianca Matthews Murphy. Ryan Patrick Murray. Justin Robert Nicholas. Daniel Joseph Nobili. Abigail Rose O'Brien Cum Laude. Connor Thomas O'Brien. James Patrick O'Shea. Daniel Joseph Paiva, magna cum laude. Alex Joseph Parento. Mark Hersey Payson III. Leah Perugini, cum laude. Donovan, Donovan Miguel Fenor, cum laude. Thomas A. Pilot. Thomas A. Pilot. Joseph Jeffrey Porter. Emma Marine Prinos. Michael William Pertel. Margaret Rose Brigetto. Stephanie Sarah Ritchie, magna cum laude. Christopher Joseph Rosinski. Lauren Elizabeth Rossi, cum laude. McDerroy Joseph in absentia. Bethany Lee Ryan, cum laude. Yusuf Samudin. Yaritza Inez Sanchez. Rudy Severino. Kelly Elizabeth Shannon. Patrick Brian Shore. John Machado Silva III. Sierra Maureen St. Pierre, cum laude. Christina Marie Shugru. Connor Michael Sullivan. Ann Connolly Sweeney. Megan Roke Taylor. Connor Pierce Tedesco. Michael David Thiesing. Austin David Tittle. Trevor Mackenzie Torres. Cristali Torres Cum Laude. Christopher Treor. Christopher James Useglio. Angel Joaquin Ventura. Sarah Jane Walsh. Zoe Lee Ward, cum laude. Joshua Malcolm Whalen, cum laude. Brendan Charles White. Daniel Galvin Wilson. 
Lindsay Rose Boranca, cum laude. Patrick Roth. And Gabrielle Marie Zona. Graduates, I hope you're ready for this. I want to welcome Tyler Normile, senior class president, to lead you all in the traditional tassel shift. Go for it. I think you can be seated. Uh, Tyler is back with Vice President Ashley Hitchcock to present the senior class gift. Wow, there's a lot of people here. Hi. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Um, like Professor Carver said, my name is Tyler Normile, and I have had the pleasure of being the president of the class of 2018. This year, myself and the Senior Legacy <laughs> Committee decided for our gift, we would donate to the scholarship created in our classmate Lindsay Malia's name. In addition to the scholarship donation, we wanted to create an on-campus memorial for her as well. The scholarship will be given to a student who exemplifies the qualities we admired in Lindsay. To quote from our classmate, Sess and Aaron, she had a big heart and cared so much for those around her, end quote. Lindsay truly encompassed what it means to be a Stonehill student. As for the memorial, it will be right over there near the Welcome Center on the left towards the clock. Having this memorial at the Welcome Center is a perfect location as it will have a lot of foot traffic of current students as well as prospective students and families coming to take tours of campus. We hope that they will take a moment and remember Lindsay when they see this beautiful addition to Stonehill. It will consist of three marble benches surrounding an imprint of a sun on the ground, excuse me, ground, which represents the light that Lindsay brought to the lives of others. To quote from our classmate, Kyle Collins, we can never thank Lindsay enough for all of the love, joy, and laughter she brought into our lives. She was sunshine mixed with a little bit of hurricane. End quote. Although this gift is in Lindsay's name, this gift is the hard, from the hard work of this class. It is for current students, former students, and future students. The Lindsay Malia Memorial represents what it means to be a Stonehill student. In this audience right now, we have students who are Elite Eight athletes, national finalist dancers, award-winning actors and actresses, individuals with their research published in professional journals, my voice keeps cracking, sorry, <laughs> journals, and activists against sexual assault, homophobia, poverty, racial and gender inequality, and other important social issues. Stonehill prepares us to be professionals who go out and change this world. We take on the challenges presented to us and make them better. This is what this memorial and scholarship represent. They are for people to remember this class and all that we have done. I can think of no better way to commemorate Lindsay and this class and all that we were able to accomplish here over our four years. And I am so excited for students and families to enjoy this in the years to come. This year, I am in awe of the overwhelming support that we received from the students, families, and the community. As for the class of 2018, we had the highest percentage of student donations that we have seen in years. This proves the dedication, 
and the warm community we have in the class of 2018, and only further goes to show what kind of students come out of Stonehill. As you take your next steps in life, I hope you will always find the time to come back to Stonehill. Stonehill has been your home for the past few years, whether you lived here or not. I hope that when you come back, maybe for an alumni event, maybe to reminisce, or maybe taking your kids on a tour, when you look at that memorial, you will think about the great things that you accomplished in your years here at Stonehill. I hope you will think of all the people that made your life special here, whether that was Lindsay, your roommate, your significant other, or your group of friends. And most importantly, I hope you will remember to make a difference wherever you go and whatever you do. Thank you for being who you are. I could not be happier to have represented such an incredible group of people. Congratulations, everyone. We did it. Thank you. Thank you, Tyler and Ashley. I just told Tyler, if he needs a voice coach, I can recommend one. <laughs> Stephen Viveros, president of the Alumni Council, will now formally welcome the class of 2018. Good morning. It's my distinct honor to be the first to greet each of you as fellow Stonehill College graduates. On behalf of the 66 classes who have graduated before you, I offer you, the graduates of the class of 2018, congratulations and a very warm welcome. Many of these alumni are in attendance today, and I now invite them to stand and be recognized. Today, you, the members of the class of 2018, join an alumni association comprised of over 25,000 individuals who also stressed over those final exams, their career choices, and what their future held for them. I guarantee you will meet some of these alumni in the future, whether it be at a job interview, in a parent-teacher conference, or at a reunion, or even, I hope, at an alumni event here at Stonehill. Many of these alumni will tell you that their life's journey differed from what they expected when they received their degrees. I encourage you to embrace the challenges and change that will come your way because they will open doors that of possibility for you. At the same time, you now have the opportunity to make a positive impact in this world and remember how your Stonehill education supported you on that journey. 20 years ago, on a very rainy Sunday, so you lucked out, I sat where you sit, hopeful for what the future held, also unemployed, and still wanting to make a difference. I'm grateful to my mentors, like Dean Richard Grant, and so many faculty at Stonehill who helped to shape my future as I continued on a path of supporting student success in higher education. At the same time, I never dreamed that I would be one day serving as president of the Stonehill Alumni Association and address you, the graduates, at commencement. Being an active alumnus has provided me tremendous opportunities and a personal sense of fulfillment. As you enter the next chapter of your life, I encourage you to stay in touch with Stonehill and take part in some of the many opportunities and activities that the Alumni Association offers. You'll be amazed at how rewarding this relationship with your, with your alma mater can be. Each year, we have the opportunity to interview current students for the Alumni Association scholarships. And when speaking to one recipient, I was struck when he shared that it is the alumni who demonstrate the true value of a college. You are now the outward sign of what a Stonehill education produces. Respect that, honor that, treasure that, and always remember these roots. Be proud of your time on the Hill, share it with others in your future, and think about how you can pay it forward to other future Stonehill students who will one day walk these halls. On behalf of Brandon Hall, the Vice President of the Alumni Council, 
Jackie Tracy, the treasurer of the Alumni Council, as well as the many others who are in attendance today, I wish you a bountiful future, be it in the corporate world, advancing the next generation, or in service to others and our country. When you walked on campus four years ago, you became part of Stonehill's family as students. Today, we welcome you to the family as Stonehill alumni. So let's make it official. You had a photo where you were students before. Now you're official alums and you look great. So let's make this. Give me some Skyhawk pride. Yeah, no selfie. I do look forward to seeing you back at Stonehill in 2023 when I get to celebrate my 25th reunion and reunite with you and your class as you celebrate your first five-year reunion. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2018. Thank you, Steve. And now President Denning will address the audience and the class of 2018. Is that a two-hour version? It's a two-hour version, yeah. I'd like to thank Emily for that shout out. No one ever said I had a Rhode Island accent. They usually say, where are you from? <laughs> Dear members of the class of 2018, Today, you graduate from a school founded by the Congregation of Holy Cross. The priests and brothers at Stonehill look to our Holy Cross constitutions for inspiration and guidance as we serve the educational mission of this institution. On this commencement day, there are two passages that I find particularly meaningful. The first reads, for many of us in Holy Cross, mission expresses itself in the education of youth, in schools, colleges, and universities. And as in every work of our mission, we find that we ourselves stand to learn much from those whom we are called to teach. I recognize how much I have learned from you, the class of 2018. I think especially of Lindsay Malia, who taught us through her scholarship and dedicated studies through a mentorship of first year students and her ability to embrace the gift of each day. This college was truly blessed by Lindsay's presence, her love and her warmth, and we know that she will always be a part of your class and this Stonehill community. And likewise, you, the class of 2018, taught us all through your countless acts of service, dedicated pursuit of your studies, and commitment to standing with one another through both sorrow and triumph. These attributes contribute to what we hope happens in a Holy Cross education and draws me to the second passage of our Constitution where our students develop both the competence to see and the courage to act, especially to address issues of injustice. I was reflecting on this as I was reading one of our honorary degree recipients, Professor Claudia Rankin's prose poem, Citizen, an American Lyric. Professor Rankin describes daily occurrences of racism and exclusion in America. In one passage that reads in the second person, in line at the drugstore, it's finally your turn, and then it's not as he walks in front of you and puts his things on the counter. The cashier says, sir, she was next. When he turns to you, he is truly surprised. Oh my God, I didn't see you. You must be in a hurry, you offer. No, 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 I really didn't see you. Our hope is that the education you received here at Stonehill is one that challenges you to open your eyes and your hearts to see, encounter, and learn from your neighbor. Professor Rankin's book, in so many ways, is a vivid reminder of the work we have ahead of us to create a more just and compassionate world. The motto of Stonehill, Lux et Spes, Light and Hope, is embodied in the lives of those we honor this day. 
Although they use their skills and talents in different settings, each one of our honorary degree recipients bears light that enkindles hope for the morrow. Professor Claudia Rankin shares her gifts as a writer and poet to shed light on race and injustice, as well as the ways in which we encounter and fail one another. Mr. David Seamus shares his gifts as a leader and communicator to develop a new generation of civic leaders in America and throughout our world. Dean John Stack shares his gifts as a scholar, expanding our understanding of how an increasingly globalized world impacts our society. Going beyond the cultivation of personal advantage, their efforts are geared towards others, and I am grateful for the light and hope that they bring to our world. Members of the class of 2018, I pray that you embody Lux et Spes, that your hearts are open each day to meet and embrace your neighbor, and that you know God's kindness this day and always. Let us pray that Our Lady, Queen of the Summit, watch over you in her love. Thanks so much and congratulations. Thank you, Father John. At this time, I would call upon Professor Stephen Wilbright to offer the benediction. Today, Christians around the world celebrate the Feast of Pentecost, the 50th day of Easter, commemorating the pouring forth of the Holy Spirit upon the infant church. With the gifts of wisdom and understanding, faith and fortitude, knowledge, reverence, and love, the Holy Spirit empowers the church to serve the world in sending forth our graduates, we pray for these gifts to accompany them along the way. Let us pray. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle within us the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and we shall be created and you will renew the face of the world. Cooperating with the grace of the Spirit, may you, the class of 2018, with mercy and compassion, help to renew the face of this precious world. May God hold you all in the palm of his hand. Amen. Thank you, Father Steve. And now I ask you to please stand and join once again Zach Connolly, Rebecca Joseph, Jacqueline Lavin, and Matt McGuire, all of the class of 2018, to sing our alma mater, Queen of the Summit. Most of you know the words, I'm sure, but for those who don't, you'll find it on page 30 of the program.
Class, you're not the only ones moving on to a new phase of your relationships with one another and with Stonehill, speaking on behalf of those faculty and staff who are moving to our next chapters. We're delighted to have graduated with you. All good things must come to an end, and the 67th commencement exercise has now done just that. We ask that you remain in your place. Go ahead, sure. <laughs> so something very important is about to happen. The, uh, the procession will, will move out. We ask the audience and class to remain in place. And then we have a moment for farewells somewhere on this campus. Not in the construction site, over that way. Savor those, graduates, they're important. So thank you all very much and congratulations once more.
Trumps, man. Tootie Fruity. Trumps, the 6 8. Which one? Washington's Post. No repeat on the 